What is going on, everyone? Might go back doing another mail day recap. So I got a little stack of mail that has arrived in the last few days. Wanted to share some of my PC pickups. As usual, you're going to get a nice little mix, at least a nice little mix of the eras. A lot of guys from one particular team will be in here, but uh, you're going to see some stuff from the early 1900s, some stuff from the last couple months. Some stuff from the 90s. So let's take a look at some of the things I've picked up. We'll check out the raw stuff first here. So we've got a Luke Williams autograph from 2022 Finest Baseball. Luke Williams was a one-year-and-done guy with the Phillies, but did have a dramatic, uh, memorable walk-off home run in his first career start. So it was pretty cool. I got this one as part of a group so it was no additional shipping only paid a couple dollars for it so luke williams is in a lot of uh products last year but definitely had that one really big shining moment for the Phils and was actually pretty solid as a utility man for him was actually kind of surprised when they uh, traded him prior to the 2022 season but really good looking card there here's a brandon marsh rookie from bowman's best this is an atomic refractor always been a fan of the uh, cracked ice atomic refractor look so wanted to pick that up i think 2022 bowman's best is nice but it's not necessarily my favorite uh bowman's best set did not break any of it due to the uh crazy pricing on it but have picked up a handful of singles so brandon marsh atomic refractor Every time I uh, see these Platinum Anniversary Phillies parallels at solid prices, because they're very difficult to hit. I mean, they definitely made a ton of this product. And uh, the singles can be somewhat hard to find, at least different uh, versions of it. And they really ultimately don't go for that much, at least in comparisons to the cost of product and difficulty of pulling them. Anyway, this is numbered to 70. This is the Diamond anniversary parallel i believe steve carlton picked up this bryson stott youth quake insert really nice looking insert this is from the uh 2022 tops sonic tops chrome sonic release so picked up the stott youth quake insert got a bryce harper from bowman chrome this is an Orange cracked ice, number two seventy-five. Really nice looking card. Twenty twenty-two Bowman Chrome Bryce Harper. Then I got the Bryce Harper Bryce Harper uh, X Fractor from twenty twenty-two tops Allen and Ginter Chrome. So happy to pick that one up. I like that atomic or that. X Fractor shine on these cards. It actually even works out kind of better than some of the regular ones. The fact that it's only in that one area. I think they did a pretty solid job with that set. So, really nice looking card there for the Harper collection. And then we got a handful of graded cards. So, one football for the Drew Bledsoe collection. This is 1997 Skybox EX2000. It's the Drew Bledsoe Essential Credentials parallel tough parallel set it is serial numbered out of 139 of 100 and when you see how difficult a card from you know 25 years ago is to find numbered out of 100 it makes you wonder about some of the current day stuff i know more stuff is being taken care of i guess but it's not like people weren't taking care of their cards back in the 90s either things just end up in collections and over time things happen stuff gets more and more difficult to find this one is graded at PSA 6. Um, not really super worried about the grade on this card. I mean, these cards are very, very tough to grade as is with all the cuts to them. As you can see, some acetate technology there in the middle of the card. Um, a lot of die cut action all around. Very uh, sensitive. But sweet Bledsoe there, and then a couple Phillies graded cards. This is a 2022 Finest Flashbacks Bryce Harper Gold Refractor PSA 10. Love the Finest Flashback sets. They've done a really good job in the first three years of it. That is serial numbered out of 50. 
So nice Harper there. And then I got two pre-war cards graded by SGC. This is 1910-11 Sporting Life Johnny Bates. That is a SGC 2. Love the back of it. Very, very cool. Johnny Bates uh, only played two years for the Phillies. Kind of a late-hitting outfielder. I think he had about a 12-year major league career. Uh, his best year was with the Phillies. I think it was 1910 he hit uh, over 300. A couple home runs, like 60 RBIs. So cool to add that. And then... The other pickup is a 1909 S74 Silks White. It's an authentic, missing the backing, Robert Ewing. He's better known for his days with, I believe, the Cincinnati Reds. Pitched a couple years for the Phillies. Had a really good year um, with the Phillies. And then his second year with them only had a handful of starts. Um, didn't perform as well. And that was towards the end of his career. So... That is it for the mail day. You got some cards from the early 1900s, which are absolutely stunning. You got a card that just came out back in probably July or August. Card from the mid-90s. And then some other modern stuff. So I like to do a little bit of it all. And all the eras just have so much cool stuff to offer. Whether it's beautiful shine or... Just uh, old school stuff that somehow has survived over a century. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite pickups are. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support. And I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.